Well, have you ever done surfing? Surfing is an adventurous sport. In this activity, you move up and down with the wave using a boat. Now, this is a very challenging sport, but it is so fun to ride with the wave, isn't it? Now, do you know what is a wave? Well, a wave refers to alternate rise and fall of surface water. Now, a wave is primarily driven by wind. This is to say that a wind blows over the surface water, friction is caused. Now, due to this friction, a part of the water body moves up and goes down. Now, waves generally originate in the mid of the ocean and they proceed towards the shore and finally crash on it. Well, apart from wind, another factor that leads to formation of waves is an earthquake. Well, if an earthquake occurs at sea flows or ocean, it shifts the water column lying above it and these leads to formation of huge waves or gigantic waves which are known as tsunamis. So, tsunamis are caused due to earthquakes at ocean floor. Now, unlike ordinary waves, the waves produced during a tsunami are gigantic and they are very disastrous. Well, one such catastrophic tsunami occurred in December 2004 when an earthquake of magnitude 0.9 struck the floor of the Indian Ocean. Now, due to this underwater earthquake, huge waves were produced which crashed on the coastal regions of the adjoining countries like Indonesia, Thailand, India and even the faraway countries of East Africa. Now, in this map, the regions marked in red represent the areas that were affected by the tsunami. And here we can see that a vast region was affected due to this tsunami. Now, during this tsunami, thousands of people were killed and many people were left homeless. So, this tsunami led to immense destruction of both life and property. Now, apart from native citizens, the tourists that went to visit these places went missing. Also, the hotels, tourist resorts, croplands, farmlands, etc. that were present in these coastal regions were completely destroyed and this tsunami also led to long-term environmental damage. In fact, this tsunami is regarded as one of the deadliest natural disasters that have ever occurred in human history. And this devastating tsunami occurred due to an underwater earthquake. Now, before proceeding with our lesson, let us try to answer this. What causes tsunami? Is it winds, rainfall, temperature change or an underwater earthquake? What do you think? Well, the correct option is underwater earthquake. We just learned that tsunamis are caused when an earthquake occurs at sea floors or ocean floors which shifts the water column lying above it and these leads to formation of huge gigantic waves which gushes to the shore. Thus, tsunamis are caused due to underwater earthquake. So, this is the correct option. Well, now let us perform an activity. You will have to take a cup of hot water and add some ice cubes to it. And now what will happen after this? Well, after some time, you will observe that the water acquires a room temperature. You can even check this by dipping your finger into this water. Well, if you dip your finger in this water, then you will find that it is neither as hot as the boiling water nor as cold as ice. In fact, the water acquires a room temperature. Now, why do you think this happens? Well, this happens because when you heat up the water, the water lying at the bottom of the beaker gets heated up and it expands. So, it rises up. So, here we find that hot water which is red in color is rising up while the water lying at the upper portion of the beaker is comparatively cooler and it sinks down because it is heavier. Now, this cold water again gets heated up and it rises and this continues in the form of a cycle which is known as convectional currents. 
Now, similarly, the water bodies present on the Earth's surface continuously gets heated up and again it cools down. And the process is continuous of a cycle. In this video, we can see a part of the globe containing water bodies and we can find swirls or circular motion on the surface of the water bodies which occur due to convectional currents. Now, do you know what are these circular motion called? Well, the continuous circular motion that occurs in large water bodies, say seas or oceans are known as ocean currents. So, ocean currents refer to the circular patterns that are formed in the water bodies as they follow or move in a specific direction. Now, what is this specific direction? Well, if you look at this map carefully, then you can find that in the northern hemisphere, the ocean currents follow clockwise pattern or they move in a clockwise direction. Whereas, in the southern half, they move in anti-clockwise direction. Now in this map you can also find some red curves and some blue curves. Well the red curves refer to the warm ocean currents whereas the cold lines refer to the cold ocean currents. Now the warm ocean currents originate in the tropical region and they usually raises the temperature of coastal regions. Whereas cold ocean currents originate in the polar regions and they usually reduces the temperature of the places where they are very prevalent. Now an example of a warm ocean current is Gulf Stream. Gulf Stream originates in the tropical region near Gulf of Mexico and then it proceeds towards the northeastern coast of North America. And here it connects with a coal current and the name of that coal current is Labrador current. Now Labrador current as we can see here is marked in blue. So it is a coal current. Now Labrador current is mainly active in the Arctic Ocean region and then it proceeds southwards towards the northern coast of North America and here it connects with Gulf Stream. So now let us check what happens when a cold and a warm current meet. Well at the place where a cold and a warm current meet at that place usually a rich fishing ground develops and this happens because the cold current brings rich nutrients and planktons from deep oceans and as it connects with a warm current there a rich fishing ground develops because this favors the growth of fishes. Now an example of one such prosperous fishing ground is Grand Banks. Now the Grand Banks as we can see here has developed at the northeastern margin of North America where the warm Gulf Stream and the cold Labrador current connects. So we find that a rich fishing ground usually develops at the confluence of a warm and a cold ocean current. Now let us see what else happens when these two currents converge. Well, I hope you all remember the story of Titanic. Titanic, the huge luxurious ship, sank in the mid of Atlantic Ocean due to collusion with an iceberg. See here, we find that the Titanic ship is sinking due to collusion with an iceberg. Well, during this accident, the region was overcast with dense fog which obstructed the sight of the iceberg and therefore the ship met with a fatal accident. Now, we must understand what leads to the formation of such dense fog. Well, we know warm current usually raises the temperature of the places in which they are prevalent. Now, the air over the warm current carries a lot of moisture. Now, when warm current connects with a cold current, the moisture present in the air of the warm current condenses and forms dense fog. Thus, we find that dense fog occur at the places where cold and warm ocean currents meet. Now, due to this dense fog, visibility reduces and it leads to fatal accidents. 
Thus here we find that ocean currents has both favorable and undesirable impacts. A favorable impact of ocean current is that a rich fishing ground develops at the confluence of warm and cold ocean current. Whereas it also leads to formation of dense fog which leads to fatal accidents. So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on waves and ocean currents. Firstly, we discussed in details about waves. Waves refer to alternate rise and fall of surface water bodies and they are mostly driven by winds. Apart from wind, earthquake is also an important factor which leads to formation of waves. And earthquake do not form ordinary waves, rather they form gigantic waves which are known as tsunamis. Now, tsunamis are very destructive. Then, we discussed about ocean currents. Ocean currents refer to circular motion that occur in water bodies due to temperature differences and many other factors. And then we discussed about two types of ocean currents, warm ocean current and cold ocean currents. An example of a warm ocean current is Gulf Stream and an example of a cold ocean current is Labrador current. And then we also discussed that when a warm and a cold ocean current meets, it leads to the development of rich fishing ground and it also creates dense fog. So that's all about today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now